I said, yo. What's up, everybody? I'm Amr. This is Amr's Logic. Got a new video for you today. Week seven of the NFL season. Your Green Bay Packers versus the Washington football team. Let's get into it. And before we do, you all know the routine. Comment, like, subscribe, share this outstanding content by your commentator here, Amra's Logic. All right, let's get off into this. Uh, so uh, before we get into the numbers, I just like to talk about the game a little bit. Uh, during this win streak that we haven't lost since uh, the opening game against uh, the uh, the Saints, is that no matter how we play, we just figured out a way to win, or things have kind of gone our way. And I like to say that I feel like that's what that happened in this game as well. I don't think the score is actually indicative of how this game went and things that occurred in this game. You wouldn't really be able to tell by the score. I think you would think that we dominated and that we probably uh, just took our foot off the gas and that's not what happened. So let's let's get into and uh, look at some of these numbers too. So let's chop this up real quick. So, all right. Packers win. Dope. 24 to 10. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, beautiful game, 27 to 35, three touchdowns with three different receivers. That's all good. He was under a lot of duress. Our, our offensive line is banged up. So we were, we were, uh, really, really relying on the short pass game, which is more of the West Coast offense. I think George Seifert, uh, <laughs> my bad, Bill Walsh would have, uh, been proud to see how the Packers played a lot of slants a lot of short routes a lot of uh it, it was a lot of depending on uh, yards after the catch a lot of yak yards so uh yeah like I said Bill Walsh should be proud of the way that Aaron Rodgers passed he was very efficient and he made some just outstanding throws like the pass to Tanya for a touchdown I mean he made some outstanding throws this game this man it, it's a treat it's a pleasure to watch Aaron Rodgers play quarterback even when he doesn't have all the weapons, even even with the uh, a makeshift offensive line, he still just does miraculous things out there. I mean, so efficient. I mean, twenty seven to thirty five, two seventy four, three touchdowns, no picks, a QBR one twenty seven. What else can you ask for? And uh, again, we weren't running the ball at all in this game. That's something that concerned me. I mean, Aaron Jones has six carries. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, Washington has a good defense, no doubt. They definitely have a, a strong defense. But, again, we're not sticking to the run. I mean, like, what is this? We pay Aaron Jones all this money, and he get six carries, bro? Like, why would he just have six carries? Like, that's – why? I, I just don't know sometimes. Like, what are we doing on offense? One game, we'll run 30 times on the game. Like, what is our identity? What are we doing out here? We need to be, I'm telling y'all, the second half of the season is going to get real. We're going to see some heavy teams. We need to know who we are. We're winning games, but we don't have an identity yet as far as the Packers. I don't think so. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section. I still think we're looking for our identity. I know injuries are playing a role, but I still don't think we're, like, what are we? Are we a pass team or a run team? Like, we still are not there yet, but we're still finding a way to win, which is great. Now, in this game, uh, what you, like, if you didn't, didn't watch the game, you wouldn't see, is that Washington was walking up and down the field on us, okay? Like, they were walking up and down the field on us. They had over 400 yards of total offense. What they would, what happened with them is when they got in the red zone, they're fumbling interceptions, uh, missed time, scrambles, the good in the end zone, like everything that could go wrong went wrong for them in the red zone. Between the 20s, they were great. Inside the red zone, like I said, fumbles, interceptions, 
giving the giving the ball up on downs, just all types of weird, quirky stuff was happening. We had blocked field goals, just all types of stuff was going on that went in our favor, which is how we were able to get the lead. This wasn't by any any stretch of the imagination the Green Bay's best game. This was that they played good enough to win and they took advantage of uh turnovers. Literally. That's it. Uh Taylor uh Heineke, he played decent. Considering what was going on, he played decent. He almost had a hundred yards rushing. A lot of that was on uh one play, but uh nonetheless still uh ninety five yards rushing. And uh, Terry McLaurin is a beast. Seven uh receptions, one twenty two and a touch. He's really good. He's really good. So uh Devontae did his thing, six carries, six catches, 76 yards, one touch, and I told you three different people. The other one was Tanya, and then Alan Lazard had a stretch in the game where he was really dominant, where he caught like four passes. Like he was just going in. I just don't know why that doesn't happen more on a regular basis, just to feature him and get some, like we need to figure out who's going to be our number two. And if they, to do things like that, I feel like that should happen more often where you're just feeding him just to get him in the game. And just try to see what happens once you build that confidence. Because I don't think anybody on our roster right now is a true two at this point. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, I'm not trying to be negative. I just want you guys, when you're watching this program in here, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything or some feel-good story. I'm going to tell you what I see and how I feel about what's going on. Applaud me for keeping it down. And we're a solid team. It'll be interesting to see once we're healthy what we really can be. But I do feel like with all these injuries, it's allowing like the backups to step in and get some real game time. So then we'll be really strong uh, in that playoff run and, and in this back half of the season once we start to get healthy. But we still got to work out a lot of kinks and figure out what our identity is. This was a good win. We took advantage of uh, turnovers and just mistakes by Washington in the, in the red zone. That's really what, the difference in this game. They were making mistakes in the red zone. We weren't. And just a fun stat before I, uh, I sign off here, the Packers before this game on defense, 15 times they were uh, defending the red zone. 15 times people scored. I just want you all to put that in your mental Rolodex. Joe Barry, you're still being watched, sir. Don't sleep. You're still being watched, sir. 15 times until the Washington. And that's was because they were messing up. Not because of our defense. So just be aware, paying attention. I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all a game and dropping jewels. Just pay attention when I'm telling y'all. What what glitters isn't always gold, always. You know what I'm saying? So like, just pay attention. We're coming along, but don't get too hyped yet. Don't get too hyped. We, we've been pulling off some miracles and things that kind of been falling in our, in our favor, which is a good thing. But we're not by any chance some championship team in this current form. We got work to do. So I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. This is my recap of a Week Seven's matchup, the Green Bay Packers versus the uh, Washington, the football team. Washington football team, and uh, we won 24-10, and uh, we won six straight. All we got to do is iron out those kinks, and we have a championship. We can make a championship run. We get a number two. We get a defense. We'll be straight. So uh, comment, like, subscribe. Share my videos. What's wrong with y'all out here in these streets? Share my video. Get these, get these likes up and shares. Come on.